So today I'm going to my favorite art store because they're closing down and I'm really sad about it. They're having a huge sale so everything's like 50% off and I'm going to buy so much stuff. Today I'm doing a really fun video with you because I'm just gonna go through all the stuff I've bought recently and do a haul for you. <laughs> so recently the only art store here in San Jose closed down and I'm so sad about it. University Art went out of business, I guess just this one. They have other locations but the only one here closed. Now I have to drive to Santa Cruz like 40 minutes to get art supplies or San Francisco. I think there's a Blick in Berkeley too, but I'm pretty sad about this. But on the last week they were open, they had a huge sale, everything was 50% off and then 70% off. Um, first it was 30% off and I went and got a whole bunch of stuff and then the amazing workers over there, they let me hold it for a while and I got some more stuff a couple of days later. So. Um, there's just a whole bunch of stuff in a bag. I'm not gonna tell you how much I spent because it was a lot But I was stocking up on my favorite art supplies things I use all the time and they were on sale half off So might as well, right? I also got a package from Artesia Art Supplies uh, This is actually I've been meaning to do a video for them for a while because they sent me some stuff earlier on I'm gonna go through the stuff they sent me and um, the stuff that I've been using so far from the first box has actually been really good um, but I'll talk about that later on so first off I'm gonna go through the University Art Hall and then Artesia I'll show you guys the big things I bought first because there's a lot of like um, painting stuff anyway <laughs> so this is a ampersands clay board it's a panel and it's like a hard surface that you can use for multimedia um, I'm gonna use this for watercolor and wash and supposedly a clay board you can actually scratch it out so um, it's a really cool way of adding details to your artwork I also got a I've never tried one of these this brand but this is a cradled birch watercolor panel water media panel 16 by 20 so it's kind of like a, a canvas but it's hard and it's like a textured absorbent gessoed surface that you can use for watercolors so i'm pretty excited about that this one is aqua board the same brand but uh as the clay board but this is aqua board so it's more absorbent it's not not the one that you can scratch out but it's really textured so this is the one I've been trying and I actually really like it. This is all they had left. I was gonna buy a whole bunch of them, but <laughs> they ran out, so I just got a couple. I got another giant pad of my favorite watercolor paper, Fluid 100 brand. Um, this paper is really expensive, so I'm glad I got it half off. This uh, recycled rough sketch um, craft paper. So that's it for the big stuff. Let me get this bag. Let's see, there's this box of paints. This is a Posca box, but I did not buy Poscas. This is full of Daniel Smith watercolors and a couple of Holbein, there's so many. Okay, so, oh, I got this brand. QOR, 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 I don't know. I've heard a lot of good things about this brand. I got like these kind of muted uh, blues and greens and grays. They are neutral tints, indigo, Prussian blue, and cobalt green. And these are watercolors. Uh, I also bought a couple of Holbein watercolors. Um, this greenish yellow, uh, royal blue. I don't know if you can see it, sorry. And then uh, a black one because uh, my friend Denise, she has a YouTube channel here. I will link her below. She does these awesome reviews of watercolors and she compares the colors between different brands and sees like which one's more vibrant, which one's more true color. Um, and she did a review of the blacks and Holbein 
black. It looked really nice in her review. You guys should definitely check her channel out if you're interested in watercolors. Yeah, she's super awesome and she's here in San Jose too. So um, we actually ran into each other in Austin last week because <laughs> we were there at the same time and we were on the same flight back, which was really funny. And I also got a bunch of Daniel Smith watercolors here. So um, these are just my favorite colors that I wanted to restock on before, you know, while they were on sale. So I got Sugalite Genuine, uh, Iridescent Blue Silver, Iridescent Aztec Gold, Graphite Gray, Shadow Violet, and Indigo. So I got, I really love their grayish blues. Like all of their grays and blues are beautiful. They have a crazy amount of granulation, which I love. So they're my favorite. That's really where the bulk of the money went was the watercolors, because Daniel Smith is pretty expensive. Um, and I got the bigger sizes. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna get out of the way, I socked up on these pencils. These are the Prismacolor Very Thin Crimson Red pencils. This is what I always used to draw in. These aren't erasable. Um, I just really love the color of this one more than the, I forgot what the erasable brand was. These are my favorite. Every time I go to that store, I just grab all of them. <laughs> so I am set for a while now. For those. Um, I grabbed a couple of Blackwing pencils. So I have the Pearl and the other one. Um, these are by Palomino. These are really good graphite pencils if you work with graphite. Uh, next, I just grabbed a few uh, Polychromos Faber Castell colored pencils. Just a couple of uh, bluish greens and a gray. Since I've been working with a lot of mermaids recently, these are some good colors. Oh, and the colors are, where is it? Earth green, dark indigo, and earth green yellowish. I stocked up on my Pentel brush pens, so these are my favorites. This is the Aquash pen. This is like a kind of a watered down black, so it's, a little, it's pretty much a dark gray that's transparent. This is my favorite brush pen. I love it. These are the water brushes. These ones are the different points. So they're small, medium, large, and flat. But you can pretty much just add water if you wanna add ink to these. I like to add a few drops of this into these at different darknesses and just use them for shading. It's really fun. If you're trying to use actual ink though, it might clog the brush, so watch out. Then I have a color brush that I use for line art and refill for my pocket brush pen. This one, it's refillable, it's pretty cool. I bought a bunch of Molotov products. So I have three, sorry, I have three of their masking fluid. So this is um, good for watercolors. You put it on the paper first, you paint over it, and then you peel it off and it preserves the paper. So it leaves it white or whatever color you had underneath. I have two different size nibs and then this one's like a refill or like a, kind of like a marker or a paint nib. This is pretty useful. I had one of these before and I really liked it, so I just got all the sizes. I have two of these, ref they're like a pretty much Molotov marker nibs, empty, so you can put whatever you want in it. You can put ink that's super thick. It's black, the ink hasn't come out yet. Um, and then this is a black refill, which I could use to fill these if I wanted to, or any kind of ink, really. So yeah, these are pretty cool. I'm looking to start doing more murals, so uh, these will be helpful. If any of you guys need a mural done, let me know. I'm serious. The last thing I got is this ink. Um, this is the brand. I can never, I don't know how to say it. Like, sorry, but it is an indigo blue. So that's it for my university art haul. Wait, I actually got these two also. These are their chrome markers. They're supposed to be really reflective, and I got two sizes. Okay, so Artesia is an art supply brand that sent me a whole bunch of stuff to try out for my YouTube channel. Um, so I'm gonna do an unboxing, I guess, now, even though I already opened it. This is like technically two boxes. Um, and I'll probably be using them. I'll do a couple videos just using their products, probably. Um, so far, I really like them, the stuff I've tried. This is their watercolor paper. 140 pound, 300 GSM watercolor paper. I actually really like this. I've been using it. I don't know if you can see the texture in it. 
but it's pretty nice. It's kind of got like the line, line texture. I actually really like it for um, just doing fun paintings and stuff like mermaid. I've been using these for my mermaid pieces. So they sent me two of those, which I love. They sent me two of these drawing pads, premium 80 sheets. I haven't used this yet, I haven't tried it, but it's pretty thick paper and it's actually a really nice like sturdy drawing pad. The backboard is thick, so it's good for like traveling or taking with you wherever you want to draw. <laughs> Um, and the paper seems pretty good, so I need to try this out still. It's good for sketching. Um, one other product I've tried already, and I already opened it, I'm sorry. These are some of their brush pens. Um, they come in a couple different sizes. There's two flat ones, and I believe there's three. One of them is somewhere else, but there's three of the different size pointed brushes. And these are water brushes, so you can put water in here, and there's actually a button to press to squeeze it out, which is pretty cool. I think I've mostly just been using two of these a lot, and I like them so far. So they also sent me some uh, watercolor pencils. I opened it already and tried them out. They're really cool. They're woodless, so they're pretty cool feeling. They're nice and cold. <laughs> um, and these are watercolor pencils, so that means that you can color on the page and then use water to blend it out. I've got a couple more brushes here. So this is another set of water brushes just like the Pentel brush pens, pretty much. So they have two different sizes and two of each, and you fill it with water and you can put like ink in it or whatever. So this is pretty good. I can never have too many of these, I'm excited. And they sent me this set of brushes as well. So these look like detail brushes. They're synthetic round, so they look good for putting details. These are the Artesia fine liner pens. So there's a 72 box. It's a really cool tin. And um, I took one of these out already. But it's a set of all these pens. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, and these are fine liner pens, so they're kind of like Sakura microns, if you can't tell. You see that? Yeah. So this is really good for outlining in color, which is something I've been doing a lot lately. So they also sent me a bunch of paints. So this is their 12 pack of watercolor paints. So these are them. It's a good range of colors. I like when there's a lot of cooler colors, some greens and blues, so this is good. So I'll try these out. This might be a really good beginner set for watercolors, so I'll let you know. And they also sent me their set of 24 gouache colors, and this looks really nice as well. I gotta do a day where I just paint, just do a whole bunch of different paintings with these. <laughs> There's so many paints. They also sent me their set of 12 acrylic colors. I'm not sure where the top is. There it is. So, Ooh, these are bigger. I like this. These are pretty nice. I'm so glad they sent me acrylics because I'm. This is this would be good for doing murals and uh, not murals, but like larger paintings. Because I have a whole bunch of big canvases that I want to start using. They've just been sitting there, and I really want to get to doing a lot more paintings this summer. The last thing they sent me was this giant thing of stretch canvases. This is 11 by 14 cotton primed canvases. They have a 5 8 inch profile. There's eight of them, so this would be good for doing a lot of acrylic paintings. So that is it. That's all the things they sent me, I believe. If I miss any, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> They're super awesome though, and so far I like what I've tried. I will put my link below if you guys want to tr get any of this stuff for yourself. This isn't sponsored by them. That doesn't mean they're paying me to do this. They just sent me stuff and they're asking for my opinion, giving my followers a discount if they want to buy anything. So, yeah.
So. 